Hi everybody, I'm Jill with One Good Thing by Jilly. I'm going to give you a quick fix for oily hair today. I'm going to tell you how to dry clean your hair. I know it sounds a little strange, but it came in so handy for me one day. I had a hair emergency. I normally have pretty dry hair, so needing a dry shampoo isn't something I would normally need, but I had a, a video or a photo shoot that day and I took a shower and blow dried my hair and it looked all nice and I thought, oh, I'm gonna do something special and I'm gonna add some, some oil to my hair, like an argon oil, argon oil. So I, you know, for me, more is better. <laughs> and I put it all over my hair and started drying it and it just looked oily and stringy. And no matter how much I dried it, it was oily and stringy. So I was in a fix and I found online a fix for oily hair and it is simply three ingredients that you're gonna put in a spray bottle. This is actually kind of big for what we need, but I'm gonna use it anyway. A little spray bottle would work even better. So to dry clean your hair, if you have a hair emergency like I did, add four tablespoons of water. And if you have a lot of hair emergencies, you could double this <laughs> and you could use more. So I just needed it for a little bit of an emergency, although I kept it on hand and I have used it actually a couple more times. Then you're gonna need one tablespoon of rubbing alcohol. Whoa. I know this sounds like, oh, rubbing alcohol in my hair, but it's just a little bit. And you're only spraying this on your hair. You're not like dousing your hair in it. And this is really what helps to, to dry it out and get that oil out. And before you put your cornstarch in, you might wanna get a funnel. I have made funnels out of envelopes where you snip off the edge and make it a cone out of it. So that'll work too. If you have a funnel in your drawer, just grab it. Much easier for putting the tablespoon of cornstarch in. Sure cornstarch is so sticky. I use it a lot because we do gluten-free cooking and it gets all over everything and sticks. Then you just wanna put your spray top on, give it a shake, and then just uh, dampen your hair with it. Spray it on the oiliest parts. Um, Dampen is the key word. You don't want to like drench your hair in it and then just blow dry it out and it's a miracle worker. Like I, my hair was fine. I was able to go to my photo shoot and, and get my pictures taken and it really saved the day. So now you are ready for a hair emergency. If you have one, go to onegoodthingbyjilly.com for more information, more photos, and I hope you'll give it a try.